Today I have a rather strange camera that I found a while ago to show, and um, it's from the Soviet Union. It's called Ambassador, and apparently it was made by a company called Lomo. I can't find anything about that company on the internet, at least not in English. I was able to find some things in Russian about it. Um, it's a very strange camera, and uh, I'll try to show what makes it very strange. First, I'll point out that I'm actually uh, missing a piece on my camera. There's supposed to be a metal ring around the lens here, and I don't have that. And that would allow you to adjust, uh, I think, the focus. I'm not sure exactly. The viewfinder on this is absolutely tiny for a camera like this, an 8mm camera. It has this arm here that presses a button to uh, activate the camera. It's battery operated. And uh, that is held in with a screw into the little button. Uh, the thing about this camera that, well, one of the things that I think is very strange at least, is uh, it looks like it's from the 1930s, but it's actually from the 1960s. I wasn't able to find very consistent dates for this camera, but the most consistent date that I found was 1962. But to me, it looks like some kind of evil Art Deco machine with this logo and the way how the ambassador is written in a very art deco style. The whole thing is made out of metal, except for uh, these grips here on the handle, but everything else is metal. In order to showcase uh, some of the features of this camera, I've had to get some tools, an old screwdriver, and a leather man. The Leatherman will help me in opening the battery compartment, which is here, and it's incredibly difficult to open. So I'm using this uh, sort of, I don't know what it is, a flat blade thing. I tried for ages to open it with a screwdriver, but uh, that didn't end up working. So you have this, this piece here, which comes off. It's like a little screw that uh, latches into place in there. It's really difficult to open. But anyways, this is the battery compartment, and I have absolutely no idea what kind of batteries this thing takes. Or if it's missing something on the inside, because I have no idea how it works. Which is a shame. I will uh, put back on this. That screw's so annoying. And I'll uh, take off the uh, screw for that button. Shame I can't do this on the uh, on camera. It's just such a small screw. Oops. Flathead screws are very annoying. So I hope I don't lose that screw now, but anyways, uh, I've taken out the screw and you are able to remove the uh, handle. So now it's just a camera on its own. And uh, the way that the handle works is basically this bar pushes in, there's just a little notch there that it hits into, so it just pulls it forward like that incredibly simple. But one weird thing, well one of the weird things about this is that you're able to uh, unscrew this. I have no idea why. And you can screw it into the bottom of the camera as well. I'm not sure if you're meant to, but you can. It just happens to be the same type of uh, screw tread. But one of the weirdest things, in my opinion at least, about this camera 
is uh, something I'm sure quite a lot of people never even knew. You see there's those two screws on the handle. Well, uh, it's hiding something. I'm not sure if this is the right side. But there's two lenses just hidden inside the handle. And when I discovered that, I thought it was the coolest thing. So here's this sort of grey lens. They're both marked in Russian. And the other one is a uh, yellow lens, also marked in Russian. And I just think that is the coolest thing. I'm sure it probably mentions it in the manual, but I don't have the manual, so I didn't know before I uh, decided to unscrew it just to see what was underneath. So that's definitely what I consider one of the coolest things about this camera. Another uh, feature of this camera, of course, like a lot of 8mm cameras, it has this dial thing here to show you how much film you have and how much film you've used. Uh, the actual film compartment, it's opened with this little lever thing on the back. And then here it says made in USSR in Russian and uh, this is the spool that it came with but it's not original it's just the one that my one came with I'll put it back all, all back together Again, with that awful, fitly little screw. I am struggling. I think I'm almost there. Well, yeah, they definitely didn't design this camera to be particularly convenient, that's for sure. Having to unscrew the handle in order to access your lenses doesn't seem like the best idea. But anyways, yes, there is the Lomo Ambassador 8mm camera from the Soviet Union. Probably the most unique camera that I have in my collection at the moment. Anyway, that is all.